two of the triple upload, the Buccaneers have cut Doug Martin, and that's that makes me sad. I know a lot of Bucks fans are happy of it. Uh, the Buccaneers saved around like six point six point seven five. Um, dollars cutting Doug Martin phone. It's okay. It's fine. Um, so they cut Doug Martin and it's kind of sad. He put a, he, he made a statement on Twitter talking about how, you know, he thinks, you know, very, very kind, kind statement. Thank the fans. Thank the Glaciers. Thank everybody. You know, it was great. It was great. But what does this mean now? Where, let's talk about this. Let's break this down a little bit. Okay. So let's talk about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers first. Where do they go from here? You have Charles Sims, who has an expiring contract, which apparently the recent rumors that he's not going to be staying around. You have Peyton Barber and Jaquiz Rogers, who I also believe have expiring contracts. I can't remember off the top of my head. But let's just say, let's just take Charles Sims out of the equation now. You have Jaquiz Rogers and you have Peyton Barber, um, who you could potentially keep. You know, like, it'll. I like both of them, but I don't necessarily know if they're a feature back. You know, giving them 300, 300 some carries a. A season, I don't think Peyton Barber's that kind of guy, and I don't think Jaquiz Rogers is that kind of guy. I think they're very like change of pacey type backs, and I I really just don't I don't know. I don't I, I think they do need to address it in the offseason. Um, I believe they will address it in the offseason, as I said made in the previous video. There's a lot of free agent uh talent out there for the running back class, like I like you guys have seen, obviously. I'm sure you guys have all kept up to date with uh kept to date with it as well. Um I expect the Bucks to sign one running back maybe two and draft one um that's just my guess um they're kind of restarting at the running back position which isn't necessarily a bad thing but maybe they do keep peyton barber maybe they do keep jaquiz rogers hey maybe they keep charles sims and have him be the feature back maybe i don't that, that one's probably not gonna happen um bucks fans would be so mad i mean he i love i love charles sims but uh He's probably not going to be our feature back. But I don't really believe that Peyton Barber or Jaquiz Rogers is as well. I, be I believe it's just kind of, I, I believe it's just time to reboot it. You know, we've had so many injuries at the running back position and just so, so much inconsistent play. Just, just cut it, man. Just re kind of reboot it, I guess. I mean, honestly, I'd be fine if we decided to keep Charles Sims, Jaquiz Rogers, and Peyton Barber and bring in like two other guys. Um, but it looks like they're kind of just gearing towards a complete reboot of the position, which isn't bad. Um... Uh, you know, in terms of free agents, uh, maybe Jeremy Hill, Orleans Darkwell, like I said, my guy's DeMarco Murray, that's me. DeMarco Murray's my guy. So, like, um, th but the point is that, you know, the Bucks will be fine at running back, I feel. Um, at worst, at worst, I mean, like, worst case scenario is that they sign a guy to be their feature back instead of drafting somebody. Um, well, they just sign, like, a couple of guys from free agency and don't decide to address it in the draft. But, like, even then, you have some good talent in the free agency pool. Isaiah Crowell, Carlos Hyde, um, you know, Orleans Darkwell, like I said, um, Deion Lewis, Jarek McKinnon. You know, there's some options out there. Um, and that... And, you know, if they do decide to go both free agency and draft, then even better, you know, because the running back class has been deep in these past couple of drafts lately, like very deep. Um, so, it, again, it's just it really works out for the Bucks. I feel like this is a move that they could make with really not much like they probably didn't have to put much thought in this move because it's like, well, we saved six point. We save around six million dollars and we can get somebody who's just as good if not better than doug martin for a, probably a cheaper contract you know you're paying doug martin six million dollars let's say orlean darko wants three million dollars okay give or give orleans darko that type of money you know that's just it's just how it is you know yeah that's, that's how the nfl works unfortunately doug martin's career was very plagued with um injuries um he would have his first year he had 1400 rushing yards two kind of injury riddled seasons we only had a 400 some yards a piece then he had a rejuvenated career that earned him his new contract that got him another 1400 yard season um and then two more injury riddled seasons one having a suspension it was just kind of a very up and down career for doug martin not a bad one in my opinion i still feel he's one of the better bucks running backs and when he was really good i feel that he was probably the best running back the bucks might have had ever um because when doug was good his two good years <laughs> he led the league in rushing and then he got second in the league in rushing yeah, that's that's great you know he saved with us till he was 29 doug had a pretty decent he had at least a, a somewhat long career for um for the bucks you know he lasted what six years it's not bad you know that's not bad for running back six years on one team mm. you know I, i'm i'm very happy with what doug martin was able to do with the team obviously injuries derailed him a little bit and he does have a little bit of an injury problem 
But all in all, I'm not disappointed with Doug Martin at all. Um, injuries really bugged him. Um, maybe poor offensive line play bugged him too. I'm, I'm still going to be a big Doug Martin fan for whatever team he goes to. Um, but I feel that the Bucks can um, soundly replace him relatively easily. Um, I feel like they're not going to have a problem finding his replacement, be it through the draft, be it through free agency, or maybe just doing a running back by committee type thing. But if you want my official guess, I feel like they are going to sign or draft a feature back, kind of that, kind of that third three down back type of deal. I feel like they are going to sign somebody to bring that in, um, and ha they're going to have a true feature back. Um, it just won't be Doug Martin, unfortunately. But um, let's talk about Doug Martin now. Where does Doug go from here? Well, Doug is going to free agency. He, since he was released, I believe he can sign with any team he wants now. Um, I don't believe he has to wait till the new league year, March 15th, which is less than a month away, fun fact, which is good for him. Um, he'll be making, I'm sure, a ton of visits. There's a lot of teams that need a running back. The New York Jets need a running back. The Denver Broncos need a running back. The Detroit Lions need a running back. I guess you could count the New England Patriots in there, technically. Um, maybe the Dolphins need a running back. Um, th there's a handful of teams that kind of need a running back. The Giants, maybe. The Giants might be an option. Um, 49ers could be an option, too. There's a lot of teams that Doug Martin could go to, but Doug Martin needs to prove that um, he can still do it, you know? He's two seasons removed from his past really good season, his 1,400-yard season. He's two years removed from that now, and he needs to prove that he can um, he can still go again, you know? Um, and I think he still can. He he said in his statement that his best football is still yet to come, and I I don't necessarily believe that, but I still feel he can be a thousand yard rusher for a team. Um, you know those two 1400 yard seasons that he had, those can't be flukes. I mean, uh, those probably could be flukes, but I mean injuries really really hit Doug Martin bad. The suspension didn't help anything either, but I feel if Doug Martin can get healthy, he can get his mindset right, uh, whatever team he goes to, I feel that he can perform well with. Um, uh, talking about teams that he could go to, uh, the Detroit Lions are a really good pick. They have Amir Abdullah there and Theo Riddick, which is, it's okay. Theo Riddick's a very, very good receiving back, but Amir Abdullah isn't necessarily that kind of powerish type runner that the Lions thought he was going to be. Enter Doug Martin, and I think you have a pretty decent situation. Um, New York Jets aren't that bad either. Uh, however, I, I feel like they're probably going to get younger or probably just go for a, a splashier move, maybe, be it through trade or just flat out free agency. Um, and then also, you have the New England Patriots, which I, again, every time a Bucks player gets released, I always say, like, I could see them going to the Patriots and playing really well. But for Doug Martin, I really could see him going to the Patriots and just being great, you know, being really good and really being a three down back for them and just performing great. N you never know with New England, always watch out for New England. But um, wherever Doug goes, I feel like he'll be really good. It is sad to see him depart from the Bucks since he's been with us for so long. Um, but he was never really, he wasn't with this regime, you know, he, he was with an older regime. Um, they loved him, you know, they drafted him, they decided to keep him around, this new regime came in, they still liked him, but they obviously want to maybe bring in their own guys now, Doug Martin just isn't the guy anymore, unfortunately, but, you know, I would have preferred to see like a contract restructure or something, yeah, because I love Doug Martin, man, I love Doug Martin, but wherever he goes, I'm sure he'll be fine, um, he, he, Doug Martin could definitely be one of those players where it's like, oh, he leaves the Bucks and then goes and does amazing on another team. Doug Martin could definitely be a guy like that for me. But, um, you know, it, let me know what you guys think about the whole Doug Martin situation down in the comment section below. Are you excited that he's gone? I'm sure everybody in the comments is going to say yes, except for like me and Corey Draper. But, uh... <laughs> Are you guys excited? Uh, are you sad? Are you happy? Are you sad? What, what do you guys feel? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to go get the third upload ready. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Uh, again, let me know what you think of the Doug Martin situation, him being cut down in the comment section below. Hope you all enjoyed. Now, as always, I'll see you in the next video. But until then, goodbye for now, guys.